not really all his fault. We just, can we say it? I don't think this is fair. Like, I understand this is your house, Ms. Lee, but I don't think this is fair. I know, it's not really all his fault. We just, can we stay here? Mommy, can we just y'all can stay, but he can't stay. Why not? Well, we're, we're I, I don't family. understand. Like, this is my, like, we're a family. Like, I understand, okay. like, this is your house, but, like, I'm not leaving my family. So, what you expect me to do? I don't know what you gonna do, but you just can't stay here. She, her and the kids can stay as long as they like. But Sean is a part of the family, so he gotta, so he gotta, he gotta stay at a hotel? Like what? I, if you are trying to follow him, I suppose so. No, I don't think that's, Are that's, you recording this? Don't record this. No, no man, cause that's bogus, that's bogus. Like I ain't even gonna cuss this your house. I, I wanna get loud, I ain't about to do that, but that's just, I literally can't stay here. Like, I have nowhere to go. We all got evicted. Like, I know you're trying to say I'm the man and I was supposed to take responsibility, but life happens. Like, I don't understand why I can't stay here, Ms. Lee. Stop. Yes, again, it's the date matching. We're back on this good Friday with another banger. I have a few videos on deck, and I have some flames that you're going to enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe once you see this video. Drop a comment. So we're going to get into the video that you see prior to this one is a man and his family being evicted, having to go back to the mother's, her mother's house for a temporary accommodation. You notice it looks to be that he may be in her hometown. She's look. The mother is already on the fences because this is just a pop up. Now, I'm looking at the comments on this video and it is going one or two, it's going a few different ways. The mother is looking and questioning the man is his judgment. Meaning, why didn't you plan? What type of planning are you doing? Why are you, you know, I guess at whatever age and getting evicted with a family in tow? It's one thing to fall flat by yourself. I can attest to that. A lot of men, they, they give you the highlight reel people in general. They're going to give you the highlight reel on social media. They're not going to tell you the real deal. They're going to cover it up with BS and sprinkles and sugar and life is great. No, pro I don't have any problems in life. I don't go through any hardships. Everything is just peachy. That, my friend, is BS. A lot of men get to the levels of success due to the sacrifice, dedication and hardship that they underwent to get to the position that they are in today or will be in tomorrow or the next day. As a man, you do not get to give excuses. You know, life happens, things happen, absolutely. But as a man, the moment you begin creating children, see, I'm going to point out what is not being highlighted. People are harping on the surface, saying that the mother is right, the mother is wrong for not allowing this man to live on her couch or do whatever with the woman she's not she's not really for it which is why you see her questioning his judgment you know how are you not planning how did this happen but we can also say well if the shoe was on the other foot the woman if it was his house and the mother got evicted would he be compassionate and allow her mother to stay in more cases than not yes because the woman his wife which is her mother is going to charge him or you're not going to allow my mother to stay because more likely it would be a 50-50 split. So he only has 50% say so anyway. The moment you decide to create children, you need to be, I would say, very well off. You need to have an emergency fund, emergency fund, emergency fund. The moment you start to create a family, which should happen after your wedding. See, I don't give him any any excuse for this situation. I do have a little empathy because I can empathize being in that position. However, I really cannot. As a man, you're creating a family and you have children and you're getting evicted. You weren't in a position to have children in the first place. You did not have things in place. of. You didn't have things that were very stable financially that would prevent you and your family from being evicted. So he's trying to rationalize and argue with the mother of his woman as to why she's allowing them to stay and giving them sanctuary 
we we know this story. If you've seen Titanic, women and children get on the boat first. Women and children. Women and children get unconditional love, unconditional uh, grace. You don't as a man because you're the one in authority or should be in a position of authority and power and should be protecting your women and children from these circumstances. So a man that cannot provide for his woman and children is not going to be respected by that woman's relatives, parents, friends, etc. A lot of the relationships that you find yourself in, fellas, when it fails, in more cases than not, she's exposed the weaknesses in that relationship to her friends and was influenced. Because she's trying to compare what she has to what she thinks she can get or what she thinks she's supposed to have. I'm going to say that again. When a, re when a relationship fails or ends and is contentious, is this quarrels, quarrelsome and all of that, this woman has went to her friends and she did a comparison to what she has to what they told her she deserves or to what options she feel she has due to her DMs, due to men approaching her in public, et cetera, et cetera. So before you put yourself in these situations, you need to be very aware and you need to be very intentional and prepared. See, this is what you call a makeshift family. We just we're just going to see what happens. We're going to get jobs, dead end jobs. We're going to just, you know, just float it, get this car. You hear her saying, if you watch the full video in context, she's talking about they had to pay insurance, then pay this tumbling bills. You have a car note, but yet you're struggling to pay the rent. That is very foolish. So now the recovery, let's look at the, what the recovery looks like. He may have to find a place to stay outside of the mother's house. Because she's only allowing the child or the children and the woman to live there. So it is a great possibility that she's going to lose a lot of respect for her man. Seeing that he has to go through this struggle. She may or may not. She may be 100 percent loyal. But the woman, the mother, we know conversations are going to take place in your absence. The mother and if the father is present, he's going to add his two cents. Why are you with a man that can't provide you a stable place to live? Why did you have children with a man that could not provide you this? Now, any man can have it all and you can lose it. Absolutely. But if that was the preface, if it was a situation where he had a lot, he was in an abundant mind state. More likely, the mother would have given him grace because she knows his potential and what he has done in the past. She would know what he's capable of versus judging him off the rip and looking at him crazy and saying, hey, you should have made better decisions. Why are you at my doorstep with your children and woman? Looking for a place to stay. You don't get excuses as a man. You just don't. I'm sorry to tell you. It is a rough reality. See, men think women get the rough realities, but we get them as well. You want the power, authority, privilege, etc. You must understand that you get the burden of responsibility and performance also. You can slip up. Yeah, that, that happens. But you, the women are not going to look at it in the same fashion you're going to look at it. Women can't, they can't do anything with excuses when it comes to feeding children, clothing children, housing children. It does, you don't, excuses don't work. You have to have solutions. And you create the solutions before you create the potential problems, if that if, if that makes sense. Meaning you already have things in place for yourself and a family before you get the family. I do not understand in our community, men are very loose and careless with their seeds. Very loose and careless. And not using this situation in particular, but I see a lot of situations where men are just having children. Not families, but just children with random women. Not knowing what type of intention that woman had or has, what type of 
education or a doctrine or mindset that woman is going to translate to your children because you're not present remember you you're a baby daddy you're a baby daddy so you only get 20 percent of influence on this child i do not get why you men are very loose and careless with your seed we don't have the family dynamic so as you get older and you grow you 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 become more protective you know you got a lot of men that are in the recovery phase and have recovered from having a family torn apart because they didn't have the the the, the vision and the the resources to create an environment that if she is present or not everything still stays intact a man that can't provide is looked at as a weak man He's not, I can, one would argue he's not looked at as a man at all. So you're going to miss out if you, if you don't have children, if you're still on the grind, you keep grinding. You keep doing what is necessary to put yourself in a position to start your family, which means you have to be very, very intentional on building your wealth, businesses, and things that provide financial security and income. That is first after following the most high, of course, is to make yourself valuable and stable. Then you go and get the woman. See, we have, I've tried it. I've seen it. It is, ve unless it's coming from college, high school, it's a, you know, a early lock-in where she has not been tainted by many men. I have a video on the way and it's titled No Type, No Loyalty. And it is going to center around women who you see them get on the Kevin Samuels, rest in peace, get on these platforms and you hear them say, I don't have a type. I just have a profile. I just want him to make money. In most cases, these women just want financial stability because they cannot operate in a peaceful manner when they're stressed, when they're worried. It is very hard to them to remain in a feminine state. But if she doesn't have a type, she has no loyalty. She's just looking for sanctuary. She's looking for help. She's looking for salvation. You can't provide. Do not put yourself in a provider role. If you haven't proven yourself to be able to provide triple and, and, and tenfold to a family, creating one should be the last thing on your list. Creating one should be the last thing on your list. It is a humbling experience to watch this seeing that you if especially if you went through it to watch a man get broken down and have to rebuild from the ground up regain that respect all over again is a daunting task but you don't get excuses you don't you get the responsibility but you guys let me know what you think about this video like comment subscribe it's the date master